Hi and welcome to the Holly Area Community Show. I'm your host, Verna, brought to you by the Shooting Star Casino Hotel and Entertainments. Today we are, have our special guest, Julie Gerhardson. Hi, everybody. <laughs> part of the Holly Helps Haiti organization. Julie, and we've had you on the show previously. Yes, An ongoing yeah. event or organization since the Haitian... Earthquake. Earthquake. Yes, yep. So I think that was in February. Yeah, did January. We start? Okay. Yep. Okay. So yep. we got a big kick going in February. Tell us what all yep. this has led up to. Oh my gosh. Well, for the last 12 weeks, as most of you know, we've been very busy, um, just spreading the word and increasing awareness, and then doing the fundraising for this very special event. And in 12 weeks, we have now, I'm proud to say, raised just over sixty thousand dollars. Just in our community. Just in this community. Nice. Yeah, it's it's just amazing. I'm I'm overwhelmed uh, when people tell you know say how do you feel? I'm like. I don't know. Um, it's, it, kind it's of just, a shock. <laughs> it is. It's a shock, but I am so proud yes. um, to be a part of this and to see this thing grow cool. like this. Well, so yeah, exciting. and so we're culminating this week. Uh, it'll be on April 30th and May 1st mm -hmm. when the big event happens. Okay. So. And what is the big event? The again? big event is the uh, Feed My Starving Children Mobile Pack event. Um, it will be held April 30th and May 1st at the Holly High School Gymnasium. Um, we will have over 1,700 people participating wow. in this event. Event, and we are going to be packing over 320,000 meals. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, a lot of food, a lot of food. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of good uh, for the people and the, so the children of the world that okay. really need this. And the so. food packaging, is that the small package? Yep. Yep, okay. they're going to be, we're doing the individual rice packets, and we'll be doing, um, each individual rice packet will hold six meals. Okay. And so the packets themselves, and we won't be doing 320,000 packets, but we'll be doing, I can't do the math, so. Okay. <laughs> um, but we will be providing 320,000 meals. Wow, so yeah. we have a big semi coming in? We actually have two. Okay. Yep, watch awesome. on, yeah, watch on Thursday. There'll be two semis coming into town with Feed My Starving Children on them. Um, they'll be uh, parking at the high school, okay. and we're going to be setting up Thursday night. Okay, so. and we have a, a long list of participants loading. Do you want to go through your list? You know, no, no, I really can't because we have 1,700 people. Well, okay, <laughs> but for Friday, the school. Oh, students. absolutely, yeah. Friday is going to be a really exciting day. I want to say first of all a really big thank you to the school principals, Mr. Martin mm -hmm. and Mr. Lepard. Uh, they have been so helpful with this. On Friday, all of the kids in the Holly Public School are going to get a chance to participate and uh, experience firsthand what a difference they can make oh, in the wonderful. life of a child. Okay. And so we'll be doing um, the first shift Friday morning is 7th, 8th, and 9th graders. And then we'll do a 10th, 11th, and 12th grade shift. And then in the afternoon, we do 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th grade shift. Oh, okay. And then the kindergarten through 2nd graders are going to get a special treat because they're coming down in small groups throughout the day. And we're going to have a special area designed for a little bit shorter people Aww, so that yeah. they can actually participate. They have been probably <laughs> our most enthusiastic supporters. Yes, and so we'll have a whole separate packing station set up for okay. them. So yeah, cool. it's going to be exciting. Right. And then of course we go into Friday evening where different groups come and pack. And then on Saturday um, we've got several different groups from area churches and, and okay. uh, service organizations coming in, okay. each to work a two hour shift. So. Cool. And if an individual wants to join a group, how do they get a you know, they can still give us a call. They can call me. I've got a limited space available. We've okay. really filled up. But uh, individuals, if they want, they can give me a call. My phone number is 218-937-5400. And they can sure give me a call. Awesome. We can see if we can squeeze them in there. All right. So, Great. Yeah. Really good information. We'll be right back with Julie Gerhardson. Welcome back, and we are still with Julie Gerhardson with the Holly Helps Haiti organization. Big deal going on, lots coming yeah, up. Yeah. Excited to have everyone participate, join in this coming weekend, mm, Julie. Man, it's been an experience. Yes, yeah, so why don't you detail for our viewers how much effort community-wide and outside the community, everyone that's been oh, active absolutely. in absolutely, yeah. And I think, you know, I think back to 12 weeks ago when we first started this and we had this small group and we met with the ministerium and just kind of got their approval before we started on this project. And we had this real meager um, goal of wanting to at least raise 17,000 because that was the minimum that uh, Feed My Starving Children could come out okay. for, you know, but they're to cover their expenses. Exactly. And now here we are 12 weeks later, once again, just over 60,000. 
and it's uh, I'm just glowing with pride for this community and I, um, I once again it, you know it, it, I think everybody in our town is really familiar with this but right. uh, Feed My Starving Children is a, a Christian nonprofit group based out of the Minneapolis area and uh, they feed uh, children in over 60 countries mm -hmm. around the world mm -hmm. and last year they did provide over 92 million meals. And you became familiar with the group? Through we became through our church okay. yeah and my okay. mom yeah and our church um, actually for the last five or so years have been uh, active sending different groups down okay. uh, to pack and so we knew about this and then of course Purim had their mobile pack last and year. And you say sending down to Minneapolis? To Minneapolis. Perhaps. So now this is a big deal for them to be coming up here. Absolutely okay. yeah and uh, I've been told by Feed My Starving Children staff too. They're they're blown away by Holly and this little community that has done such a great job too. Um, I especially once again. I mean, there's been so many different, um, very uh, ingenious and creative ways that have come together to make this uh, such a success. And yes. I just I can't say thanks enough to the kids in our town and our community. Um, the it's M &Ms. been a great lesson for them through the school. Yeah, so yeah. help it, yeah. obviously. And yep. go ahead with yeah. the M and Well, I just you know when the M and M campaign just blows me away because we passed out those M&M tubes to all the, the kids and you know I gotta admit we didn't know what to expect right. you know and we thought well maybe if we could at least get enough to pay for the M&M's yeah. you know yeah. well those kids turned around and rose to the challenge and uh, they turned in over $4,600. That's so, amazing yeah. so over half of what's come yeah. in has yeah. come from that. Just, yeah it's just been amazing I mean they've done so many other things the kids in our different churches are uh, doing mm -hmm. things um, we just had a seventh grade confirmation team do free throws and uh, they did uh, they went and got pledges and so for every free throw they made they oh, had cool. pledges and and they made I think over four hundred dollars on that and of course we had our community-wide bazaar um, we had the haircuts for Haiti um, the big hoedown for Haiti that happened and yet. you know and there's been so many things I really oh my gosh I'm afraid I'm gonna forget of somebody course. and there's I apologize so list, everyone, yeah everyone knows what they've done yeah. and they're a huge part yeah. of this. The best thing about it is, is that the way our community has just really risen to the challenge and, and supported this, this event, mm -hmm. and it really makes me proud to be part of this Well, and we community. appreciate your efforts to organizing it's and been, helping with the community. It's been well. quite a ride. Good. <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much, Julie, and everyone helping with the Holly Helps yeah. Haiti Fund. And see you guys at the pack. If you don't have a spot, come by and say hi anyway. Again, Friday and Saturday. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.